Hey, DPR seniors, I'm Brittany, and I'm getting ready to lead you through a 30 minute full body workout. All you need is a mat or some sort of soft surface like a carpet. And if you have handheld weights, I'm gonna ask you to grab them right now. If you don't have handheld weights, know that you can use soup cans, you can use water bottles, anything that you might have around the house. And if you don't have anything that's totally okay, you can just use your arms. So we're gonna get started here. I want you to find space where you have room to move. I'm gonna put on some music here. And we're gonna get started. So I want you to step your feet directly underneath your hips. Your feet are parallel, so they're facing the screen. Kind of soft bend in your knees. We don't want any lockouts here. So nice and soft, pushing all four corners of your feet into the floor. And then level and square your hips. Start to pull your belly button in towards your spine, maybe waking up your abdominals. And then just take your shoulders nice and soft. So we start to give them a roll up. And then melt them all the way down your back. Maybe you inhale as your shoulders lift towards your ears, and then exhale as they roll down your back. Taking one more, we're going to start to breathe all together big. So lift up as you inhale, and then as you exhale, take your chin to your chest. Again, inhale, reach your fingertips to the ceiling. And this time, if your shoulders round forward, lift, inhale, big. exhale, round through the shoulders, towards your floor, last one, inhale, and on your exhale, step your feet a little bit wider than your hips. We're going to take a hip twist here, so I want you to drop your right shoulder, look over the left, as you bend your knees. You're pushing into your inner thigh to start to open up your hips. That's it. And then lift all the way up through center, switching sides, dropping the left shoulder, looking over the right, sinking your seat. You get to decide how low you sink. You're pushing into your inner thigh to start to open up your hips. That's it. Come right through center, standing up. I want you to take a slight turn out in your toes. We're going to start to move nice and slow by taking slow squats. So you're going to sink your seat and then lift all the way up. Sink, lift. So I want you to take note of some things. I want you to be heavy in your heels to send your tailbone and your seat to the back of your space. Think back, not down. Your knees track right over your ankles. Your hips are level and square, and your belly button is pulled in to protect your little back. Shoulders are soft. Now you can stay right here, or you can choose to follow me adding some arms. So we're going to sink, and then slam that door in front of you. Sink. Take a flat compress. Energy through the fingertips as you slam that door right on your midline. Sink, lift, sink, lift, bind your tallest self. Now, this is your last one with a flat palm press, or you can take it overhead. Sink, and then reach up and over. Sink. Reach. You are now feeling a release in your side body, moving slowly, but warming up the body safely and effectively. That's it. Breathing through these next 30 minutes, knowing that your breath will carry you through. Your heart stays lifted. You can stay right here, or maybe we add a slow slide. So sit it down and then lift up tall as that leg drags across your mat to meet your supporting leg. Your heels click. You start to build heat in the inner thighs. Drop. Lift, zip the legs together. Sink. Push. Nice and slow. We are moving with our breath. I'm sure you guys look amazing. You have your last few. Sink. Lift. Last one. Lift all the way tall. Amazing work. If you have your weights and you want to use them, I invite you to grab them now. You can use soup cans. You can use water bottles. 
anything you have, but if you are not comfortable using weights today, know that you can do this without. I want you to stand your feet right underneath your hips again. Press into all four corners of the feet into your floor. Take a slight bend in the knees. Arms hang by your sides and then glue your elbows into your rib cage. We're gonna find a hammer curl. So your thumbs are facing up. You're gonna curl the biceps in. So it's lift for two, extend for two. We have the biceps as we curl in, the triceps as we extend. Nice and slow again. Moving with our breath. Shoulders are stacked over our hips. Standing nice and upright. Finding your tallest self here. Remember, if you're using weights or a household item, you control your weights, the weights don't control you. So no swinging, no momentum. I want you to try to move with intention here. As you curl and then find length Feel a pinch in the tricep. That's it. Nice and slow. Extend. Glue the elbows. Curl the biceps. We are not here for forever. We are going to hit all of those big muscle groups right here in this next section. Lower. Lift. Lower. Lift. Last two, you've got this. This is your last one. Lift up, amazing work. Shake out those arms. All right, we are moving into a chest press. So I want you to again, glue your elbows into your sides. And then when you're ready, I want you to lift up to frame your face, elbows in line with the shoulders. Beautiful. Then take a chest press, squeeze the mid back as you open, finding that goal post. And then use your chest to pull forward. Use your lats to pull and squeeze to your sides. We're going to take this on a two count. Here we go. We lift up for two. Squeeze the mid back. Use the chest. Pull down into the front of the ribcage. Lift. Open. Pull and squeeze forward. And then pull down. So with any neck or shoulder tension here, I want you to know that you can work a little something lower. Maybe instead of making that goal post, you make a W with your arms, staying nice and low, squeezing in, and then pulling down, that's it. But notice how my elbows never come higher than my shoulders. We want to take this out of the traps, and we want to really put this into the mid back and the chest. That's it. You guys look great. Stick with me here. Squeeze the back. Pull forward with the chest. Squeeze down. You've got two more. You've got this. Take breaks when you need. Come back stronger. This is your last one. Lift from the face. Squeeze the mid back. Pull forward with the chest. And then release down. Amazing work. Shake it out again. We are coming into a wide row. That's going to target our lats. So right here in that same position, grab that bend in your knees. Extend your arms out into a wide V. And then pull in towards the front of your rib cage. Two counts. We reach for two. Squeeze. Reach. Squeeze. That's it. Are you breathing? Know that your breath is here for you. Use that big inhale and the exhale. See how you can connect with your movement a little deeper when you use your breath. Reach. Pull and squeeze. Our lats are two big muscles on the side of our backs, and they tend to become a little weak. So we're here to make them strong. Reach. Pull and squeeze. Four more. Reach. Squeeze. Three. That's it. Last two. We're going to drop our weights right here. Reach. And squeeze. Stand up nice and tall. Dish your weights to the side if you're using them. All right. We're going to get that heart rate up into a little cardio blast here. So we're going to start with some marches. Hands come to our hips. Stand up nice and tall. Think of someone pulling a string from the crown of your head. Let's march. Lift, lift. Safely 
distributing the weight from one foot to the other, my hips stay level and square. Notice how my knee doesn't come any higher than my hip height. That's to save any hip pain. I want you to take this where you need to go. No judgment. You are not me. You are not your neighbor. All right. Let's add some arms. We're going to push down. The arms come to chest height, and then they push the air back. Each knee lift. That's it. Heart rate starts to rise. Our bodies are warm. Let's reach. Same arm, same leg. Any neck or shoulder tension, you can reach right forward. That'll take that out of the neck and ears. But wherever you are, I want you to find your tallest self. Lift. You're going to feel this in your side seat and in your glutes. I want you to engage your core and your belly. All right, maybe you take both arms, reach. That's it. You get to decide how big you move here. Last three, two, last one. All right, now I want you to step your feet a little bit wider than your hips. Give a slight turn out in your toes. I want you to sink your seat. Knees strap over your foot. Maybe your hands come to prayer. We're just going to find tiny pulses. Pulses. Now watch as my tailbone reaches back, not down. We're going to start to light up that back body. We're not here for long. Just pulse. You can definitely feel that. You get to work higher or more upright. Protect the low back by engaging the abs. Now you can stay right here. Or for eight, you can float the heel off the floor. Little balance challenge. That's it. Now we're gonna switch out the heels. Other heel. Nice work. All right, come up right, step your feet a little bit wider. You're gonna sink, lift up, sink, lift. My shoulders stay stacked over my hips as I tap the toe at the top and then sink at the bottom. Sink, push. Maybe we add an arm. Let's reach, sink, reach. Elbows glued to the sides, and then reach up. Maybe for the last few, you pick up the pace. Sink, lift. If this is not your pace today, I want you to go right back to where we were. We're almost there. Last four. Three, two, one. Bring your feet together, inhale, lift. Exhale, chin to chest, push the air away. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push the air away. Amazing work, we are coming down onto our mat. I'm gonna give you a moment to safely come down onto your mat. And then we're coming all the way down onto our backs. So once your seat is planted, I want you to go ahead and roll down onto your back. That's it. Feet are planted on the ground, knees are bent. Shoulder blades are anchored as well as that seat. Your rib cage is in and down towards your pelvis and your core is turned on. If you have that negative space underneath your low back and the mat, that's good. That's gonna force your core to turn on even harder when we start to move. So follow me, I want you to lift your right leg into tabletop. Your knee tracks right over your hip. And then place it back down on the ground. Transfer your weight, lift the left leg into tabletop. Knee tracks over hip. Place this down, we alternate. Lower. Some easy marches here to get our core working. Don't worry if you're looking for more of a challenge, it's coming. I want you to focus on your core, hugging your spine. That's it. Breathing deep. Knowing that the slower you go, the more your 
or it's going to work for you. This is not a contest of how many reps we can do. We want to be intentional with our movements. Take one more set. And then the next time your legs are on the ground, I want you to hold. Take that right leg, pull it up to tabletop. And then pull that left leg to meet it. We're in a double tabletop. We're going to take a reverse march. Take your right leg, tap it down to the floor, and then lift it back up to tabletop. Left leg tips down, and then use your core to pull back into tabletop. Here we go, alternate, drop, lift. Any hip flexor discomfort, I want you to not tap down as far. So maybe just half, and then lift up. Knowing that that is the best option for you, and that is still going to work your core. Drop. My knees drop right over my hips, no further. Anchor your shoulder blades. Lift. All right, I have one more challenge for you right here. You can lift your arms up above your head, take opposite arms, opposite legs. You reach the arm back by ear, and the opposite toe pulls down. Know that you can take this even slower here, maybe matching your breath. Maybe closing your eyes to have a mind-body connection. Know that we're almost done. You'll have two more sets. Breathe here. This is your last set. You've got it. Drop it down. Lift. Drop. Just hold in tabletop. I want you to flex your feet. Take a big inhale and on your exhale, just push your feet out two inches and hold. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hug the knees into the chest. Amazing job. Maybe you take a slight rock side to side. Finding a little bit of release. And then we're staying on our back for bridge lifts. So place your feet onto your mat. I want you to walk your feet all the way to the edges of your mat with a slight turnout in the feet. Knees are nice and wide. We're going to bridge this. So place your palms onto the floor, anchor your shoulder blades. Walk your heels up so you can brush your fingertips to your heels or almost brush them. That's going to ensure that our knees track right over our ankles here. All right, when you're ready, I want you to push into your heels so hard that your feet starts to float off the floor just a few inches. Yes. So everything from the ribs up stays connected to your mat. Knees are wide, tracking over your ankles. We're going to start to move nice and slow on a two count. So I want you to drop your seat down to just a hover, and then push back into your heels to lift up. There we go, two counts. It's drop for two, lift. Thinking about digging into your heels. To find length in the top of the quads as you extend at the top. That's it. This is our glute moment here. Knowing that the glutes will turn on when you push into the heels. I even curl my toes up off the floor to remind my body to push into my heels. Sink. Lift. You're going to right away feel those glutes, feel those seat muscles light up for you. All right. On your next one, I want you to hold it high and take tiny pulses. Pulse. It's nice and small, but this is a fiery moment for the glutes. If your glutes had a color, they just went from orange to red. Tiny pulses, big change. You guys have got this. Pulse. Pulse. We're almost there. Stick with me here. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Go back to that two count. Drop it down for two. Lift. Drop. Lift. Finding length in the quads at the top. And you are hovering over the floor as you sink down. You've just got six more. Last five. Are you breathing? For four. Three. 
Last two, and then you hold the top. This is your last one. Hold at the top. Maybe you take your arms, wrap them around an imaginary beach ball for our final hold in bridge lifts. Can you push your heels harder into the floor? Light up the glutes for four, three, two. Release, hug knees in. You guys are amazing. And when you're ready, I want you to safely grab behind your thighs and rock up to seated. Take as much time as you need to get there. We are headed into our last posture of class, and it is just a 30 second plank. If you've taken my classes before, you know that I love a good plank. It is a full body contraction that hits all of our muscle groups. So you've got options. The first option is to walk your hands underneath your shoulders, step your feet back, and fold. You can come down to your forearms, you can drop onto your knees, or you can take a waist high surface and come right here. But wherever you are, I want you to find what feels good for you. All right, 30 seconds, find your plank. That's it. Spread your fingertips wide wherever they are and suction cup into your surface. And then take your shoulders away from your neck and ears. Turn the eye and the elbow in towards you. Push the floor away from you to activate your chest. Belly is turned on. Push your heels back. You've got 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Bring it down by your child pose. We are going to stretch this out. Connect your toes. Send your knees wide. Tailbone back and then reach the fingertips forward. Amazing work here. We are all done. We are going to start to turn our focus external to internal. Your breath is still necessary. Release through the shoulders. Let this feel good for a few more moments. All right, walking yourself up nice and slowly and safely. We're going to stretch this out. Coming to all fours to take cat-cat. This is one of my favorite stretches. Know that you can do this standing if you feel more comfortable. Take your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. On your next inhale, I want you to find an arch in the back. Send your heart to the ceiling with your gaze. On your exhale, reverse it as you curve your spine up towards the ceiling. Taking this at your own pace. You flow freely in your cat cow using your breath. It is so important to stretch after we work our body so hard. To bring our heart rate down. Take one more full set. All right. Now making our way to a seated position, crossing our legs in front of you if that's comfortable. We're going to take some slow circles with our spine. So hands come to your knees, and then think about stirring a pot as you gently come forward, rounding the spine, and then sitting up tall. Thinking about anchoring your sit bones onto your mat or your space. Finding a deeper stretch as you move through these circles. Taking this at your own pace. Don't worry about me. And then reversing the circle in the opposite direction. Letting this feel good. Feeling a release after all the hard work you just put in. Last full circle. And then sit up tall. We're going to take this ladder. So take one arm, take it up and over for a side stretch into the side of your body. And then lift all the way up, finding the other side. Lift. 
Broken down. Alternating sides at your own pace. So live Feeling the release in the side of And you can find out. Slowing down. One more on each side. And then on that next one, circle through center and then just reach your arms out in front of you, finding a still moment, curving the spine forward, releasing the chin to your chest. And then slowly start to roll in towards your center, getting up nice and tall. Roll your shoulders up, up and down your back. We're going to move into two minutes of guided breath work. So if you're seated, you're laying down wherever you are, I want you to start to flutter your eyes closed. Start to take your focus from external to internal. We find two minutes of stillness and peace. Can you unclench your jaw? Try and soften your cheekbones. Relax your shoulders. Your tailbone is your anchor. Start to become aware of your belly and chest and how it rises and falls each breath cycle. Maybe you take notice of your heartbeat in your chest. But what a beautiful reminder that is that we are alive and moving together today. Knowing that your breath is always here for you in times of uncertainty. That you can inhale love and gratitude. And you can exhale anything that you don't need. Maybe you think about the ocean. As you inhale, the water comes to meet your toes at the shore. And as you exhale, you send the water back into the ocean. Take the last few slow internal breaths. And on your next inhale, I want you to inhale your full lung capacity. Fill up your lungs, and on the exhale, take an audible release sigh. If you start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, if your eyes start to flutter, if you roll through the wrists, bringing life back into parts of the body that are asking for it. Maybe you slowly roll your neck from one side, chin to chest, the other, taking half circles. Your breath is still necessary. It is still here. And then coming through center, we're going to safely get back on our feet. So whoever that might be for you, I'm going to find the floor. I'm going to tuck my legs underneath. And from a small crouch, I'm going to start to roll up, sending my feet up, rolling slowly one vertebrae at a time. My head is the last to arrive. When you get there, maybe you noodle your arms back and forth, finding that final mobility upper spine and then the shoulders. We're going to start class just how we ended with three inhale exhales. So step your feet underneath your hips, light bend in the knees, breathe with me here, inhale, lift all the way up, exhale, chin to chest, let it go, inhale, lift, take it all in, exhale, round through the shoulders. 
This is your final inhale here. Lift all the way up and then take your hands to meet the palms at the top. Slowly start to pull down to heart center. Maybe you close your eyes for this final moment of class. If you think of one thing that you are grateful for here in this moment, and then breathe it in. Big exhale, let it go. We are all finished. I am so privileged to be here with you today. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and know that DPR is here for you. And I can't wait to be back soon.